This is the spring 2023 playoffs between the Brew Jays and Community Lutheran Church in Escondido, California. We're coming to you at the bottom of the first inning following an excellent inning by the Community Lutheran Church as the away team where they put up two runs off of a single by George De Marino and a home run by Paul Buscemi. That was Eddie hitting it straight up the middle and getting called for the box on that one. It was a little bit to the left of the actual box if you look at it on the replay, but he still got the out. All right, two quick outs there for the Brew Jays. But Brian Bora gets up, batting third, and gets on the base. Got Ricky Bobby, R Richard Cohen. Popping out, four up, three down. It is the top of the second inning. That's me pitching there. I'm Allen. And that one drops in. Outfield playing a little too shallow for that slow run. Another one's going to drop in here. Nicely caught, though. I believe that was, that was Jimmy in right field. Never want to walk, folks. That one's dropping in again. Base is loaded. One out. Seth Harris puts that into play. That drops in. Brings in the third run for Community Lutheran. George De Marino up to bat. He singled in the first and scored. He puts that into play. And the runners go station to station, bringing in another run, four to zero. Paul Buscemi pops it up. Hey, tag him, tag him, tag him. And that drops in, takes a bad bounce out of bounds. And that'll bring in two more runs. Ryan Clayton steps into the box with two outs. Pops that. Caught by the left center fielder. Who gets a dime of a throw straight to Ricky as the catcher who can't hold on. Got a runner on third, two outs. And that's popped up. Bottom of the second inning. It is seven to zero. Brew Jays have to do work, and Ricky Kiyomani is in the box and pushes that to right field. And that's in. He's off and running, and everyone's telling him to get on third, which he does easily. Chris Flores up next. And that's going to bounce over the pitcher. And hang in the air just long enough for him to get to first base and drive in the run. Ty Mata, left-hander. Hits that to first base, and it's a race. Let's see how close of a play that was. Who touches the base first? I'll let you be the judge. He's called out at first. Got one out and a runner at second base as Jimmy Rio comes into the box and tries to set the umpire. Mike straight. Mike is always hustling out there to try to get the call right. That was a close one though. Jimmy's pushing that to right field. And it's going by him. He's sending Chris home as he gets into third base. TJ Ducat, who almost got an outfield assist at the top of the inning. Grounds it to shortstop. Low throw for the second out, but that drives in a run. Divide Metcalf grounds it to shortstop, who's getting a lot of work here. Makes a nice throw, fielded by the first baseman for the third out as we move into the top of the third inning. The score is seven to three. That's popped up. 
by Andy. Community Lutheran does some good batting every now and then. Making the outfielders have to stay shallow because most of them cannot hit the fence. Ricky Kiamani is pitching now and that was a lovely strike. That definitely went right through the box for the first out. That's a revenge, that's it, no more. Randy Luang up to bat for Community Lutheran. And that gets between short third base for a single. Runners on first and second. Bottom of the third inning. It's my turn to hit. That's under the glove of the third baseman, allowing me to get on base. Hopefully I could do some damage. As our leadoff batter, Eddie Fernandez, steps in the box. I thought that was gonna drop for sure, but that outfielder rushed on it and got a good throw. Luckily it wasn't gloved by the first baseman or else that would have been a double play. One out, Robbie up to bat. That's hitting the fence to give Robbie a double. Runners on first and second one out. Bottom of the third inning, Brian Bohr up to bat. Ooh, and couldn't be, couldn't be gloved there. That's gonna send in two runs. Go throw. Fourth inning, the score is seven to five. Community Lutheran up to bat. Seth Harris gets it by. Both the infielder and the outfielder to turn what should but an out into a triple. This is gonna be a close game all the way through, battling back and forth, so stay tuned if you've watched this much. I appreciate it, nice catch there. Almost got a double play there, not handled by the catcher again. Catcher's not coming through this game. If you've been watching this long and you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. We just went over the thousand subscriber mark because this channel is awesome and we will continuously provide you with nicely edited games filled with the awesome commentary of myself and the great personalities of everybody on the Brew Jays. Bottom of the fourth inning, Chris Flores coming into this inning with one single already with a nice level swing. And he's going for two. Here comes the throw and it's offline. He's thinking about three and he's held up by his base coaches, Tayamata. Called out on what should have been a single. Gets on first, and a mishandling of a shortstop. G. Murillo got a triple last at bat and pops that one up. This should be a sacrifice. Here comes Chris. The throw's not coming in. Runner on first, one out. turn again. The scorekeeper said I got a single in the in that second inning. Hopefully we'll do it again. She marks this a single too. Bottom of the fourth, two outs. Runners on first and second as Eddie Fernandez is up to bat. And he gets that right through the gap. Divide is off 
sprinting for that run. I'm held up there at second. And that ties the game as Robbie Phillips steps up and launches it to left center. Double RBI to put the Brew Jays in the lead for the first time this game. There's another one. Nice hit by Brian Bora. That'll bring in two more runs. It's 11 to eight. Ricky Cohen, high bouncer, third base fields it. The throw is a little bit offline, but grabbed by first base. Let's see that on the slow-mo. Foot hits there before it goes in the glove, but it was called out. Top of the fifth inning. Back to back singles by Ryan Cunning and Andy Amon. The pitcher, <laughs> Randy, hits it into the perfect play by Divide. The community Lutheran is held scoreless in the fifth inning as we move to the bottom of the fifth inning. Ricky Kiamani leading it off. And that's played nicely by the right center fielder of Community Lutheran, Chris Flores. Pops it up high, giving the left fielder a play. Two up, two down. And Ty is off to the run. And called safe. Top of the sixth inning. Go, go. Three, one. Runners on first and third. That's an out of two. The runner scores. Everywhere! One out. Nice hit. That's going to bring in two runs for Community Lutheran. The score is 15 to 11. And they take a good lead. Lead off batter Seth Harris. Puts it in the same spot. Almost takes the head off his runner. 
bring in another run. 16 to 11. It is the bottom of the third inning. The score is 17 to 11, and there is just a few minutes left on the time clock. TJ hits that pass and takes a wide turn to turn that into a double. Divide Metcalf gets that under the first baseman's glove, and that is going to score TJ, who's coming around real quick. No outs. I'm on first base. Divide is on second, and Eddie Fernandez drives it out to right center field. And that sends Divide running. He's held up at third to load the bases for Robbie Phillips. That hit the fence and almost clears the bases, bringing it in two runs. Two minutes left on the clock, no outs. Brian Bora puts that into the outfield, bringing in another two runs on that single. I remember you. Ricky Cohen puts that into a good spot. And Brian Bora takes advantage of it to put runners on second and third. Ricky Kiamani who sends that in the outfield. That is going to bring home two runs as he gets to second base. Blue Jays have the lead as the clock ticks down 55 seconds. Chris hits it hard. That hits the fence. And Ricky scores. Community Lutheran needs three outs in the next 20 seconds or two seconds, and that's not going to happen. Chris comes around, and the umpire prematurely calls ball game before the game is over. I'm going to call that a run and an RBI by Ty Mata to end the game. Final score, Brew Jays 20, Community Lutheran 17. Thanks for watching. This puts the Brew Jays into the championship game against NOTW, who previously beat the Brew Jays earlier this year. Stay tuned. I'm working on editing that game right now. It should be up within the next seven or eight days. So subscribe and come back to watch the championship game.